UCF likes his pace now. They don't want to get in a frenetic pace. They don't have the athleticism or scoring punch that Memphis has. Sykes thought about a long range shot. He is not a three point shooter, but one of the best slashers you'll see. A well, lefty from Detroit has been dominant of weight. First player in UCF history to triple levels in a season. Platt had that shot knocked aside. No bowl game. Exactly. Donnie and his staff have done a fabulous job motivating the guys, and they've had an excellent season so far. Wilson long range three. He leads the conference. Misfires there. Clanton is foul hard, the all time leading rebounder in night history. He's had quite a career right from Orlando, Florida. Pulling up is Johnson. And a first bucket for Jaron Johnson tonight. Clanton thinking three ball. That's a long range shot. Barely grazes the front iron. Now, this is the match. Has to have one of the best vertical leaps in the country. I don't know of many players at 6'5 who can ele elevate like TJ Stepp. That's something. He's amazing, Dave. Looks like he's on a trampoline going up so high, so easily. Sykes a kick out. Memphis not allowing him to shoot. Clinton, a floater hits on the baseline. It wouldn't be denied. Well, Jackson is the top scorer for Memphis, team captain. Back to back conference USA turning MVP. Plant and free, but can't finish. Nice call. Andrew. Contrasting styles here, Pete. No question. They want to take their time, play at a medium pace, and try to score late in the shot clock. Clinton baseline. Tied up, nice defense down low. Possession arrow. That three rattles out. Nearly went down for Adonis. Sykes on the move. You see, have to run when it can, and they'd rather have a half court possession. That's why. Nice collapsing defense. Pass broken up initially, and Clint has a loose change for the Knights. Here comes UCF. Chance to take a lead here. Sykes the bounce pass. Clint in stride up for the hammer and fouled on the way to the basket. Thomas has his first three. Of the game. 14 three ball of the year. More of a slasher, not a long range shooter. Coach, in my mind, Keith Clanton has got to become a presence in the second half. Pretty much invisible in the opening 20. Yeah. Too strong there. Yeah, he's got to be more aggressive, Dave. Unless I was at a great 15th day, 2012. So two months, almost two months, they haven't lost. And that was a home game against Louisville, a highly ranked team at the time. And they had a huge lead in the first half, squandered that, really could have won that game. 118 of 19 have been red hot. Clinton baseline chance for a three point play. Basketball, Dave, because right now the Tigers have five team fouls, so you got to try to get them in trouble. But they got to make their free throws. UCF gets there, they haven't been making them. Clinton gets physical, but cannot get a roll. And Keith Clinton will head of the free offensive rebounds 13 to 6, and they're scoring a ton of points off these offensive rebounds. And UCF's got to get in the mud, get in the glue, get in bloody nose lane and compete. On the all glass. those places, Pete, all those places. Five second call, Clanton. Hit four three balls against Southern Miss Saturday. That's his first triple of tonight's game. Give him seven, and the lead expands to 12. Great pass by Joe Jackson. UCF fell asleep, the kick to the head, Crawford raised up, bang. Boy, the transition play from Memphis Pete is so tough to stop. How do you recover defensively against these guys? It's tough. You gotta send four guys back, Dave. That's a nice move, Plant. Nice move. All right, didn't finish it, but I like his aggressiveness, Dave. His aggressiveness is nice. everywhere, Pete. Assists are all over the place. When I coach, my players thought assist was a lump on your back that the doctor cut out when he went for a visit. No, so. they didn't. No, they didn't. Some of them did. The Knights do not. Tigers do not. Clanton, spin move in traffic, gets a double dribble, and another turnover. 16 for Joe Jackson to Ty Johnson for game-high honors tonight. And this has become an old-fashioned blowout. It'll be three straight one-sided wins for Memphis over UCF in this arena. Including the quarterfinals of the league tourney last year. And a bump call on Tarek Black. It's court speed, and the Knights cannot keep up with Captain Joe here. 
18 points for Jackson, a leadoff scorer. Dave, that should never happen. On a missed free throw, the other team should not get a layup. That was very, very poor fast break D by the Knights. Winning score for Memphis leads the way tonight for the Tigers. He is something. Clanton other end, long range three, bangs it home. Keith Clanton's first three ball of the night. The proper seed, they're good enough to play in the second weekend. Yeah, I think they're a special team, and their defense really impresses me, Gary. They're unbelievable. And in transition, not many teams in the country.